Welcome back to three months of Modal Logics, a sequel to 100 Days of Logic with Cardinities.org. Today we're going to be continuing with Deontic Logic, looking at Andersonian Kangarian reduction in Deontic Logic. As I mentioned in the last video, we're moving on to more advanced Deontic Logic. So if you were uncomfortable up till now or you're not sure, don't worry about these last few videos. Start new with us, start fresh with us at the beginning of November with Temporal Logic. We're going to be cleaning the slate and starting over again. But if if you've been feeling good with these videos and you want to keep going, here's some cool new things to learn about deontic logic. So, reduction. Anderson and Kanger independently discovered methods that they claimed could reduce deontic logic to modal logic using a single axiom and a propositional constant is all they would add to it instead of several axioms and a whole new predicate obligatory. Basically, they created effectively identical systems that reduce all of deontic logic, all the three extra axioms we used, and the extra predicate we used to a single new axiom and a single new propositional constant. It's a reduction because that's fewer axioms, it's a tighter, cleaner system, or so it would seem. Kanger's system uses a propositional constant D which just is a representation of the statement that all normative demands are met. D just means all normative demands are met. Kanger will replace all of the axioms of our deontic system with one single axiom. It's possible that D, or it's possible that all normative demands are met. And the standard modal axioms for system K. Check out the video on modal logic for more on system K. The key here is we're not really adding specifically deontic axioms. We're using axioms that already existed in alephic modal logic and not worrying about adding specifically deontic axioms. All right? So it would be a reduction, but we're going to see a problem soon. We're going to focus mostly on Kanger, and we'll mention Anderson some as well. So Anderson did the same thing, but he used a different propositional constant, S, which means some normative demand has been violated. It should be clear this is identical to not D, and that we could take for an equivalent axiom to it's possible that D either it's possible that not S, or it's not the case that it's necessary that S. Is not the case is necessary that some normative demand is violated. While these systems may seem identical to our standard deontic logic, in the following videos we will show they are not. But it's interesting to note they are going to be similar to each other. Up next we're going to focus specifically down on Kanger's deontic logic system, which we're going to call KD. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and stay tuned all three months of October, November, and December for a new video every single day on modal logic. Stay skeptical, everybody.